right honorable speaker and honorable members this is a statement about incidents involving security and uh, procedure thank you right honorable speaker right honorable speaker this honorable parliament two months back directed the minister for internal affairs to bring in this house a comprehensive statement without any contradiction concerning the attacks of uh, attack of UPDF in Kasese. Up to now, the same has never been brought. The point of procedure I'm, I'm, I'm raising, right from the speaker, is the minister in order, uh, the, 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 the minister of internal affairs <laughs> proceeding well to give a priority to the recently directed to, to the recently raised the issue of the human rights and leaving aside and leave aside the, the, the statement which was earlier on asked by parliament is in order. Thank you. Now, um, uh, honorable colleagues, since the shadow minister for internal affairs does not want the statement and he wants the other statement to come first is more priority. Minister, first go bring that statement, then we shall later on handle this one of human rights. Yeah. Next item. He's your people. He's you. What do I do with you? Our colleagues, let's listen to the read of opposition. Co colleagues, let's listen to the read of opposition. Colleagues, order. Let's listen to the read of opposition. Thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. Right Honourable Speaker, I want to state from the onset that for a minister bring a statement on the floor that we have demanded is not a favour. That a minister bring a statement on the floor that members have demanded is not a favour. And nobody should construe it as such. When members demand for a statement of any nature and it takes that long, it delays inordinately and the member reminds the House of that inordinate delay and instead it impeaches another matter, Lord Honourable Speaker, that speaks to ill will on the part of government. And as the opposition, we are Boha ill will. We are patient over so many matters. But when we demand for particular situations to be clarified and they are construed as favors, well, Honourable Speaker, two weeks ago, you promised that uh, you would compel government to respond to so many unanswered questions on the floor. This is week three. There's no response. Of course, I understand the fact that the Honourable Chuan Kabdala could have misconstrued the length and the breadth of this. But that should never in any way impeach the urgency of the subject matter at hand, right on the speaker. Thank you, Rob. To the extent that the older paper would be compared to be moved to the next level. Right on the speaker, yeah. these are very grave matters of regards of this country. Very grave matters. We are listening to the minister, and the minister had better act serious on this matter. Right on the speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now uh, Mr. Rob. I really also sympathize with you. Because now, 
you told me you sat as a shadow cabinet. You wrote a letter demanding a statement. I passed it on to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister directed the Minister. The Minister has prepared a statement. Your own shadow minister says she shouldn't be listened to. So I can give, I can give in your wish. Me, I thought I was, uh, I was uh, ruling as per what you wanted. So next time I request you coordinate better, it's better to always consult your read of opposition. Otherwise, I will make a ruling of that nature. But uh, with due respect to my brother, Honorable Minister for Internal Affairs, please present the statement. Honorable Minister for Internal Affairs, please present your statement. Motion. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. <clears throat> My motion, Mr. Speaker, having referred the matter of the Honorable Zaki to the Rules Committee, and I am not preempting the statement which brought us here, I move that the Honorable General Katumba Wamala, who boxed Zaki in the last parliament, that he is also referred to the same committee. Thank you. <laughs> no, I think one of our colleagues, Samu, you wanted a light moment because I don't know under which rule he moved the motion because you only move a motion under rules. Under which rule, Honorable? Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Under which rule? I am moving uh, this motion under the category of motions without notes. Rule 52. Rule 59, when I was. 59. Yeah. And Mr. Speaker, the requirement is that uh, this motion is entertained. Because if you are dealing with matters of injuring each other, we have a general here who nearly killed Honorable Zaki in this parliament. So as we, as we refer the Honorable Zaki for whatever he may have said, we need also to refer to the one who was killing him and is still seated with us here. That is my motion, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Now, Honorable colleagues, let's go on serious business. He has referred to Rule 59. Rule 59, 1K is the one which, in which the Speaker has discretion whether the matter is urgent. Uh, this one, I don't consider it a serious matter, therefore, I don't grant it. So, Honorable Minister, continue. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members. Um, Procedure, Honorable Chief Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I'm constrained as a member of WAPA. And uh, Right Honorable Speaker, it's because these uh, ladies you see here, they are boiling. We don't want to preempt or to say anything about your ruling. But right on level speaker to water and uh, treat the issue concerning a woman lightly, the way it's being perceived. How have I treated it lightly? I'm, 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 I'm proceeding right on level speaker. The hmm? No, 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 no. Honorable Chivumbi, please take your seat. Honorable Chivumbi, take your seat. Be because you see, you see Honorable Chivadia. Okay? Colleagues, I don't want us to blackmail each other here. Okay? The Honorable colleague, the aggrieved, mem the aggrieved member of parliament, came on the floor. I gave her special raised the issue. She requested me that she wants her video played. It caused the commotion. We went as readers, we met. We agreed, and the video was played. There is no any other video I've not played. That's a video which was given to me, and we have played it. Okay? And as per rules, it's still an allegation. You must refer it to the other committee so that the accused member can be heard. I've referred it to the committee. So which other way would one say that we are watering it down? Please, co colleagues, let's, let us not, let, let us not really. Eh? I respect women. I was brought up by a woman. I don't want anyone to insinuate 
that uh, we are not handling issues of women here. Please. Honorable, Honorable General Muhozi. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, this is a statement about incidents involving uh, security and the National Unity Platform President and some NUP members of Parliament, the Kampala Metropolitan Police Area and Kayunga on 5th and 9th October 2023. Introduction. Right, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Rop, I will request you, sir. You requested for a statement. Your statement is being presented. I request you talk to your members to listen. We first listen to the statement and then we start to debate. Thank you, Honorable. Right, Honorable Speaker, you order that a statement be made by government in response to the incidents of Thursday, 5th October 2023 in Entebbe and in Kampala and those on Independence Day on 9th October 2023 in Kampala and Kayunga District involving the National Unity Party platform party leaders and some party supporters respectively. Background. In the months of August and September 2023, we witnessed nationwide mobilization tours and opening of party offices by the NUP party president in various parts of the country. These tours were punctuated with some incidents of public disorder, damage to property through malicious damage, fatal and ser serious traffic accidents, as was the case in Hoima on 11 September 2023, as well as inciting violence and uttering defamatory statements against the person of the President of the Republic of Uganda. Honorable colleagues, House Adjan to Tuesday at 2 p.m.